Ooh, what's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Joel's rule, of course, the Scavenger. And today we're going up against the Richard, known as Titan Atlas, which also a person that I go up against fairly often. He's a very good player, and he asked for an Ari game, which I missed that he asked for. Um, I'm actually bringing a new team, and um, I was really feeling that going in that yeah. Uh, it might get rough, but uh, I still have like the Pokemon that can do significant amount of damage to his team. So whether I win or lose, it really didn't matter as much, I guess you'd say. Or rather, I was, you know, no matter how this battle was going to turn out, I was fine with it. I thought it was great to at least get a chance to go up against Richard. I'm looking through his team here, we got Bronsong, Golbat, Tangro, Jellison, Flygon, and Crubalion. I myself is using Fro, Masquerade, Torterra, Chimenko. Uh, Sol Rock and Swanna. Now, Swanna can do a good job here against the majority of his team if I keep it alive. Torterra can actually wall a few of his guys, and Fro should definitely be able to wall a Kubalium rather effectively. My Sol Rock and Chimenko and Maskrain felt like they were probably outmatched by the majority of his team, and um, basically, I just went in guns blazing, hoping to tend something fast, and then basically see if we can get a footing. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really my thing, that's my job, that's what I'm gonna do. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So, from the get-go here, I decided to start off with my fro, other known as Heimdall. And basically, I thought that Kubalion could be his honest lead, and uh, I was lucky on this, of course, you know, it was, it was a judgement call, it worked this time. You have seen me done the wrong switches too, but this time it did work. And I'm in no position of really over predict here. I was really hoping that he would risk setting up Stealth Rocks. But he's just going for Volt Switch. I do eat that up. And I'm going to go for Storm Throw. And he's going to go to his Taco Bell, which is the Brown Song. And this Pokemon is a personal favorite of mine. I really like this thing. It works so well. But Storm Throw will do a good chunk of damage here. And I decided to go for a knockoff. And it ends up killing him because it's a crit. And that's terrible. So no rocks on my opponent's side this battle, and that was that was truly important. Actually, choice bandit, so it might have been a different set. Never mind that. Now I wasn't really gonna switch out here because I did predict the super fangs. So decided to go for a knockoff, taking off the violate on it, and basically from this point I was debating whether or not I would go for Brave Bird, but uh, ending up doing that call and switch out to Metallica. And uh, he just go for the super fang, and uh, yeah, that's obviously bad. But at the same time, I can threaten him out with a potential Stone Edge. And he was really feeling that, going to Aphos. And, um, yeah. I think they did the same. Oh, actually, I did predict him switching out, went for an Earthquake. Haha! <laughs> How about that? But, yeah, Earthquake obviously is not doing a whole lot. I'm not risking Metallica since it can explode. Uh, so, basically, I'm gonna go to Heimdall and hoping that I can soak an Iron Head. And, uh, I cannot. Uh, well, I do take it relatively well from the position I am in. It's not, it's not good enough, and Heimdall is gonna fall there, which is of course really bad. But I can go with Grimlock, which is my Torterra, Rock Polish Torterra, and uh, I'm just gonna break him, switch out, going for um, well, a Rock Polish. I can outspeed everything on his team, and basically starting poking and denting holes here. So he's going to go to his flying on. I was not too scared of that. I was thinking that probably the best he could go for a U-turn. It will not do a whole lot. I'm going to go for a wood hammer. But not only do I fail to kill him, he has the fire blast. But he misses. And I can just finish it off with another wood hammer. And Grimlock showing his brawn really here. I really like it. Yeah, rock polish uh, Torterra. What a champ. What a strong poke really. So he's gonna go to Love Bite, which of course is the goal bet here. And I just decided to go for Stone Edge. No way of really predict here overshot. And he's going for Toxic. Pretty much will me down by default because there is not a whole lot I can do. Um, obviously, I can't stand too much, and the residual damage is going to kill me. And uh, he has the possibility here of going for Roost if I miss a Stone Edge, which I luckily don't do. That would actually have been the worst. This is pro probably one of the few uh, moments where I actually wish I was slower, so I could go for an EQ instead and take it out. But hey, this did work this time at least. And now it's gonna go to his creepy pasta, and this thing walls me. Like Stone Edge is the only real move I got for it, and even by that standard, I can't risk that. And I have to switch out. I'm gonna go to Metallica, hoping 
that I can't survive a special move, but it goes for knockoff, and uh, yeah, that's that. That's really bad. I really just wanted to explode on his face there, but no, we did not pull that off. Now go to Crystal. Crystal is an um, Intimidate, Masquerade, Infestation, Roost, and uh, Quiver, Bat and Pass. So I was thinking I can probably set up on it, and um, not a good fun. Not the best of thoughts, really, because it does pack the Rock Slide. While I do, I am able to survive one of these with a crit, he, I will not, uh, sadly, because my idea was to go for Quiver Dance, then bat and pass that to Michimenko, which is stored power set, but no, that did not work. So I'm gonna go into my Swanana, which is Life Orb, and with that damage, I kinda realized that this thing probably, and I'll say probably, is a Soul Vested, because he can deal with this damage, and he's not supposed to do that. Now, he does break free here from the potential flinches, go for Rock Slide, which will do, of course, a good chunk of damage on me, because why not? And um, I was pretty much debating that he probably would switch out, because Regenerator is a thing, so I went for a Roost here instead. And uh, yeah, that's a good thing, though Cabalion has the Volt Switch, I've seen it, and um, I was thinking here that I could switch out to my potential Karakos or Torterra, or uh, risk the Vol Switch, I think it, he's probably not that strong. And it probably isn't either, but that still did too much. And I went for a Skull there, and that was bad, that was a bad decision. Because he still has this thing, which I totally forgot, and the Lifer will take me out here. So I should definitely go for Roost instead. I felt terrible after this, because Swana was actually a go-to Pokemon against Tangrowth, which now is my number one threat. But I still have, you know, the Torterra, so, you know, I'm still at good positions so of Grimlock, which is speed EVs, is actually able to outspeed this thing, which I think my opponent did not see coming. And that is one big-ass manatee out of the way. Get out of here! So, yeah, the residual damage there, of course, is too much. And with the Toxic, I'm just falling, falling, falling. And he's going to take folks. There is no way in hell that I will switch out. I only got my Grimlock and... Um, um, uh, Chimenko left, so I decided to sack this guy off, and now he's locked to Exciso, which is bad, I was hoping he didn't pack that move, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to Citroel, which is, of course, like I said, the Cosmic Powered, Stored Power Chimenko, and uh, yeah, the Exciso does, you know, two-thirds, but with the Thunder Wave, I was thinking that, you know, I have a chance here of um, recovering till he's fully paralyzed, and then setting up uh, Oh, what do you call it? The moves that is um, cosmic power. And I'll say like this, it's not a bad idea, so I'm gonna speed things up here, because even if it is it's, uh, you know, the worst of ideas, it still is that that he still does more damage than I can recover. And that means that we have to keep going until he fails. And once he fails and becomes fully paralyzed, we can start setting up. But as you guys see, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. I'm feeling so sheep right now. But he decides I should switch off, uh, switch, switch away, and go into his creeper pasta basically for the knockoff. Uh, that was at least what I was predicting. So I was thinking, you know what? That's fine. Uh, we can do this. I should still be able to outspeed no matter what type of position I am in. So I decide to go for a cosmic power, and uh, the knockoff is gonna come, and it does a good chunk. But there is not a whole lot this Pokemon can do after that. So I decide to go for another one. And uh, he is actually now going to go for Leaf Storm. And uh, yeah, I'm not that bulky on the special side, but I am bulky. Two Cosmic Power definitely saved me there. And now I'm in a position where I can just can go for Recover. And um, you know, like I said on the stream here, basically, I'm just a crit away from Lucent. But he has to score that crit. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep going. This is definitely like the Sigalip set. It's just, it can't die. It just, it's not possible. And um, yeah, I felt super, super cheap. I really did. And you know, he's gonna keep going for Exorcist. He's actually yet to be fully paralyzed, which is still very fascinating. He actually hit me six times in a row now, going in with the seven times in a row without being fully paralyzed. And I was basically feeling that, you know, I could probably kill him from this range if I decided to go for it. And um, I was feeling kind of intimidated by, you know, the whole Exorcist secret shenanigans. But the stall power is enough. And I should probably use a gun from that beginning, and the creep pass is gonna come in with full HP, but 
What can it do against the power of the Chimenko, of the store, the power Chimenko? There is nothing, nothing stopping this thing and uh, I'm basically gonna win with this thing, which I really didn't thought was possible. Or I'm gonna be honest and say it like this. Um, things did not go my way, I lost my Soul Arc and Masquerade against this Tangrove. Uh, I failed to sweep with my um, uh, with my Grimlock and I failed to use Swana correctly. So Chimenka coming through out of nowhere was... Well, how about that? What do you know? <laughs> so we, yeah, like I said there before, um, both Cabalion and Tangrove, definitely that core was so hard against me, there was no way for me really coming back. Chimenko pulling that off, not gonna lie, it really took me by surprise too. I would have much better preferred the Mask Rain setting up Quiver Dance than pass it to Chimenko. Uh, we you know, to get the speed boost and all and not relying so heavily on a Thunder Wave. But it works. It definitely did work and I'm glad it did because yeah, I felt so cheap. I really did. And I think by this video alone, I think Richard's gonna get his chance of revenge very soon. He's just that kind of player, I'm sure he will. And for everybody else who's been watching, I want to thank you for doing that. And remember to leave a like. And uh, yeah. Remember guys, this guy's limit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, take care. Bye.